Hey what's up guys, welcome to today's Spider-Man video. Apparently quite a lot of people managed to get early copies of the game. It seems that there are stores out there already selling it without respecting the launch date. This is way more early even compared to the review copies which should be given somewhere towards the end of this week. Nonetheless what this means is that there might be spoilers happening especially on websites like Reddit. So if you don't want to see that then you should probably stay away from it. So far there were a couple of leaks but nothing too big. A couple of Stuff related to suits, some screenshots of random gameplay and some short videos. I won't be spoiling anything though, but I will cover some brand new details that were given as a result of this. Of course all of this will be from official sources, so I hope you all sit comfy in your chairs and let's get started. Coming up first there was a rumor that the game would be only 12 hours long and this made a lot of people voicing their concerns over Twitter. Soon after though it was confirmed by Insomniac's community director that the game is actually at at least 20 hours long and that is on the normal difficulty alone. It was also stated that many of the folks who play tested the game took way longer than that. I would assume that this refers mostly to the main storyline and does not include all the additional events, the unlockables, achievements and so on. Since there will be three main story DLCs as well I believe these will extend that quite a bit. Nonetheless 20 hours minimum for the main story alone is plenty enough in my opinion and from the looks of it the game is nowhere near as short as many believed it to be. Since the review copies will be given soon, expect some reviews on the game to also come up and hopefully give us a lot more information in this regard, but knowing Insomniac and their games in general, I would not worry about finishing the game too fast. Since we're speaking about early copies of the game, it was also confirmed over Twitter that there will be a day one update for Spider-Man, but more details on this will probably follow a day or two before the actual launch date. For the vast majority of the AAA game, out there this is expected and the day one patch typically comes in to fix a lot of the unresolved issues like bugs, improving performance and stability as well as many other smaller details. For the people fortunate enough to play early copies of the game right now, depending on how big the day one update is planned to be, they might or might not be missing content from the game. So again we don't know how big this is but it can sometimes happen that a certain part of the game is locked behind like a day one patch on top of the already existing bug fixes and that might not be accessible in early copies so yeah we have to wait and see for that. Speaking of this since it's such an anticipated game I was surprised it only happened now and I was actually expecting for the game to be leaked like way earlier but what's important is that at the very least we got a little bit more details about the graphics and the general performance of the game. To give you an example one person was playing it on the regular PS4 and he even posted a random screenshot of gameplay Suffice to say that the game looks and feels very good even on the base PS4 and according to many it looks quite close to the PS4 Pro as well and that one also has like HDR and 4K capabilities and it seems very well optimized in general even without the day one update. This comes in as a response after a lot of people started complaining about some visual downgrades compared to how the trailers showed the game back in like 2016 and 17. But yeah this was mostly just due to the change in lightning which which from the looks of it made the game better in most of the cases. There are some cases in which the lightning doesn't really look that good but if you put it side by side there are some scenes in which for example the new trailer looks way better but there are definitely some in which like the old trailers looked a little bit better compared to how it is right now. So I'm not sure how to put it but for the most part I'm seeing an upgrade and not a downgrade. Also the textures look more detailed, more crisp and I believe that this is just an unfounded concern. It was also confirmed on Twitter by the way that Insomniac did not actually implement any downgrades, at least not on purpose, and the graphics quality is much better than how it was previously. Various other details were given about the world itself and it looks to be much more alive than previously thought. Not only is it packed filled with NPCs like we saw in the trailers and the gameplay footage, but they can also react in a ton more ways, both to you and between them. There was some scene for example where Spidey drops down from a building and one of the NPCs gets scared and falls on the ground because of that so I found that pretty funny. There was also one with people being arrested by the police and just general interactions between NPCs that we didn't see before in any of the footage that we were given so all in all I'm glad to see it way more alive than I previously expected. It's like something you'd expect from like a GTA universe with NPCs you know doing their business and almost feeling alive and I am glad to see that is the case. As for the confirmed suits because a lot of you probably want to know this, someone 
someone leaked a photo of all the unlockable suits currently available in the leaked or you know the early version of the game I won't spoil this in the video because I know a lot of you want to avoid that but for those who do want to see it just ask in the comment section and I will give you links even though this is like super easy to find even on Google but as I was saying there are a lot of our favorite suits in there and there are a few missing ones which I wish they were in the game but well they won't be obviously I'm not talking about the Venom suit by the way or the black suit whatever you want to call it because Insomniac already said many times in the past that that won't make it into the game this isn't a game about Venom or the symbiote but there are a few of the favorite ones that the community wanted this prompted Insomniac to confirm that the story DLCs that will be getting in Spider-Man will also contain their own suits which are on top of the already existing or well you know leaked number of suits that were given already by the way there are 28 of them in the game at least currently from what I'm seeing and a ton of them look pretty freaking sweet so yeah expect some good and some bad ones as well not sure if the day one patch will add more though I could have sworn I read somewhere that there will be like more than 40 or so suits in the end but yeah I think I was just some unconfirmed information out there and I might have just read it wrong again 28 suits currently in the game plus possibly three from the story DLCs making in total like 31 not sure if it's gonna be more than this but I hope this is you know helpful to you and this is all the news that we have for today everybody unfortunately a ton of people took it upon themselves to assault insomniac's page with various complaints and not all of them are actually founded so yeah this is just my opinion but nonetheless I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated and I will see you guys in the next one.